NASA's stranded astronauts have welcomed their replacement crew on board the International Space Station after four astronauts on a SpaceX capsule successfully docked to the station. The SpaceX Falcon 9 Dragon shuttle crew boarded the ISS after launching just over a day ago from Florida. The crew of four will relieve astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, who have been stranded in space for nine months. They were part of Boeing's first astronaut mission in space on board the Starliner capsule. Problems with Starliner's propulsion system during the flight forced an extension of their planned eight-day stay after NASA deemed the capsule unsafe to return on. Sunny Williams spoke briefly on NASA's live stream of the onboarding, welcoming Crew 10. And Houston, thank you for uh, tuning in this early morning. It was a, a wonderful day. Great to see our friends arrive. So thank you so much. The veteran pair are scheduled to depart the station no earlier than Thursday. Astrophysicist and cosmologist Dr. Brad E. Tucker says as space test pilots, they were ready and prepared for an extended stay. They were pros. They were veterans. They knew the risk and they have been able to prepare for it. I don't think anyone, including themselves, would have expected this sort of unfold to happen with the capsule to return entry, uh, return empty to Earth. Uh, and then them having to join a new crew, the Crew 9. And this is where kind of that veteranism became into play because in order for a capsule to go up into space to serve as their return, which we'll eventually see in a few days' time, uh, the capsules also have to stay in space to act as a lifeboat in case something goes wrong. So you can't have them without a seat. So they needed to be able to say, all right, we're going to add six months to this journey, learn all of the research and equipment we have to do on the space station uh, and be able to adapt to another unplanned six months. There's actually a lot of handover. It's like shift change, um, like in a lot of jobs that are working 24 hours, news broadcasts, hospitals, police, there's a shift change. So you're kind of updating what's happening on the space station. You know, is anything gone wrong? Is anything not work going according to plan? making sure everything is up to speed. And then they also have to get the timing of the capsule return. So because the space station is at an angle going around the Earth, its position relative to positions on Earth changes all the time. And so they have to time it so that when they undock from the space station, they take a relatively short direct trip uh, with little fuel down to their landing spots. And the landing spots for these crew, SpaceX Crew Dragons are in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, sometimes they do it off the, coast, the east coast of Florida, but usually in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and then they can be recovered and then uh, brought back to land. So there's kind of the timing sequence that happens as well. Uh, and that timing was slightly already built in, knowing that there may be uh, delays in this Crew 10 launch. So the Crew 10 was actually supposed to launch Thursday our time. But the Crew-10 had an issue with the mechanical arm uh, at the space uh, facility. So this is kind of the tower that the rocket attaches. They did fix this hydraulic issue, but that delayed them a day. So that kind of shifted the schedule as well.